Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. And all y'all will get me 100 Nazi scalps taken from the heads of 100 dead Nat- Dead- Wait, what's that? Oh, there's, there's no multiplayer? I can't have a command? Okay then, well, okay. Well then, cousin, I guess business ain't a boomin'. This is Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Operation Resurrection. And in case you're confused by the subtitle, Operation Resurrection is Activision's 2003 port of the 2001 PC release, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, a game that was also ported to the Xbox and subtitled Tides of War. But there are important differences between all those versions of Return to Castle Wolfenstein. The console ports include extra missions, which detail how the badass BJ ended up in Castle Wolfenstein in the first place. The new missions take place in Egypt, and in addition to providing some backstory, they also add a few extra hours of gameplay to Return to Castle Wolfenstein. So these extra levels were added to both console ports, but there's a difference between the PS2 and Xbox games as well, and it's a pretty major one. As I was informed in the middle of my inspirational pre-battle speech, Return to Castle Wolfenstein has no multiplayer whatsoever in its Operation Resurrection form. I don't mean to nitpick, but I hardly think criticizing the lack of multiplayer is doing so. One of the best parts of the original Return to Castle Wolfenstein was its multiplayer, and without it, the game only feels half complete. Unfortunately, the single-player campaign is as solid as ever, even in the otherwise stripped PS2 version. Like the seminal shooters id Software created the genre with, Return to Castle Wolfenstein is kind of an old-school FPS. This isn't a thinking man shooter. You don't have to sneak around, no matter how much the game claims otherwise. Return to Castle Wolfenstein is a fast-paced FPS, with enemies that compensate for their their intellectual shortcomings with their sheer numbers. And yet, the game does seem to think that it's incorporated stealth, which, I mean, I guess in a sense, there are a few stealth kills to be had, but they feel very predetermined. They feel more like set spots than an integral part of the gameplay. In fact, I gotta tell you, there are a lot of things I don't like about this game. The graphics may be technically competent, uh, especially for an early PS2 game, but the art is really bland, and there are some problems with collision detection as well. But, you know what, at the end of the day, who cares? Despite its many flaws, Return to Castle Wolfenstein is still a really fun little shooter. I would just recommend the Operation Resurrection form as a last resort. A huge thanks to Dean from California for donating this copy of Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Operation Resurrection. Only next time, Dean, how about you send something with some multiplayer? <laughs>